All right, guys, so I changed my mind. I am going to do one more session tonight. Um, I don't know why. We finished our finished our G-Source session. My third game was just really bad. I am I really should just be doing this session. I was just impatient on the third game. I really should be doing this session tomorrow, but I kind of just want to get some of this out of the way. Um, we're going to do the Type 64 session. I haven't played this tank in a while. We do have a 64% win rate with it, averaging 1,040 damage. And I'm... Um, Surprisingly, I'm actually not a huge fan of this tank. I just feel like the gun is really trollish. Like every time I auto lock and try and use the DPM, I feel like I just miss like a lot of shots and stuff like that. Um, but it is what it is with this vehicle. Um, my setups are just optics in the scouting slot, low noise exhaust and V-stab. And then for a more aggressive setup, I will run the rammer. And um, crew is pretty stacked, full brothers in arms, full concealment, intuition, um, snapshot, smooth, ride, recon, situational awareness, 70% repairs on four of the guys, and then we have clutch braking apparently. I haven't looked at this crew in a while. We could always change some things some things around, but I don't really think it's worth it. Um, what else to talk about with this vehicle? Really, this thing is just a monster uh, when it comes to tier six. You guys know that Wargaming will always make the premiums more powerful than their um, counterparts. Their tech tree counterparts, right? And um, this thing is just really good when it comes to um, DPM, right? Really, that, that, that's really what it is. The view range is really good as well. Um, the concealment, I would say, is average, but again, view range is really, really good. And, um, you know, speed is good and all that, traverse and whatever, whatever. Um, the only thing is that the gun's just really trollish, man. I'm not going to lie. I really think the gun's trollish, but. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the games, guys. Um, I have not even come close to three marking this thing. Getting 2,000 combined, you think, wouldn't be that hard at this tier, but for some reason, I have just not been able to um, to get it. And uh, I think we should be doing more damage. It's been a long time since I've played this vehicle. I think if I really played this vehicle again, like maybe another 100 battles, we'd probably get the three mark by then, you know? It's just the last time I really played this vehicle consistently was like, years ago when I wasn't nearly as good of a player in my opinion. So let's get into the games, guys. I'm going to try and give you three good games here. Again, it is late at night. Um, I don't know, man. It's like I had a second wind. I finished my session, my session in the G Sore, and then I was kind of sitting here for a minute and I'm like, I'm just going to do the type 64 session now. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a second wind and then I'm going to go eat and uh, get off. But yeah, I was just really unhappy with the last game that I played in the G-Store. I was so impatient that I kind of wanted to um, to play some more. So we're actually at 1666 combined. This has been adjusted. What happens if you don't if you don't play a certain tank for a good amount of time, the mark will adjust based on how people have done in the last 14 days, is it, for the mark, I believe? I don't think it's last 60. I think it's the last two weeks, right? And so this mark can adjust quite a bit every two weeks or so. Um, and I think it's it rolls, right? So like not every 14 days all of a sudden does it reset. It's like day by day by day by day because it's the last 14 days every day, right? Does that make sense? So as you're going the next day, the last 14 days, last 14 days, last 14 days. Um, and I don't even want to go this way. I don't know why I'm going this way. I'm going to go this way. But... Um, Anyway, it, it, it can change a lot over time, and so now it might be even easier to three mark this vehicle. In fact, it looks like it might be drastically easier because this mark did adjust quite a bit. Let's see if we can get into this bush now. Okay, so the torque on this thing is actually not quite as good as I remember it being. Shouldn't be spotted here. Not spotting the AMX though. Getting a spot in the Krami. Just kind of sit here. Yeah, the torque seems like it's a little bit lacking, but honestly, at this tier, like, there's not a lot of fast light tanks. This tier, look at this FV-304. Interesting. T-67. I feel like I cannot talk tonight. I'm just trying to talk too fast. Like everything just feels like it's a tongue twister tonight for some reason. Okay, let's see if we can get a little creative here. See if anyone's over here, maybe. Achilles, good. Shouldn't be lit.
Good. Take the Achilles out of his spot. Good stuff. Okay, I think we probably should start retreating at this point. We just lost this area of the map way too fast. Don't want to get spotted by these guys. I am, though. That's unfortunate. And now the gun's going to work. Oh my god, dude. It always amazes me how accurate some arty players can be, man. Okay, that was unfortunate. <laughs> now I can't miss with this thing, right, man? Like, this is how it's going to behave for me. Can't pen anything, though. Can we finish off this Karami, man? Ay, 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 ay. What an interesting, interesting game. Okay, let's see if we can get in one of these trees or something like that. Just want to try and spot this Cromwell. Maybe we'll just do something like this. Like on the ridge line or something. It's not my spot, but I'll shoot him. Okay, good. He goes down. Ooh. Look at that. Oh. I'm trying to stay in front of these bushes. Kind of let this guy come up and try and go after the HMC, and then I should be able to uh, like DPM the crap out of him. Let's see. Or not. There he is. Good. Let's get solid push. Just want to make sure I'm covered because the bushes are kind of weird. Like, we knocked down some trees, right? Ooh. I'm going to get spotted by this guy. That's unfortunate. Okay, good. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. I should, probably should have went somewhere, somewhere else. If this T67 didn't make this play, we could have gotten really creative with the bushes here. But I think we just there's just too many people. There was just too many people. Like, I'm trying to hit the Wolverine, too, as he's coming in, and... I don't know, man. This gun just is the weirdest thing, man. Like, I can hit the Cromwell, f like, full speed on the move, and then I'm trying to hit the Wolverine, and I couldn't hit him. But I think we just got way too overwhelmed here. The uh, the mediums and, like, whoever went to the south and towards the east of this map, we just got literally, like, demolished within, like, a minute, <laughs> pretty much. So, just kind of an unfortunate game. I could have tried to stay in the in that back corner as well. Sometimes I like to stay over there, but I just decided to keep going. But I don't think it would have mattered, man. I think there was just too much to deal with in that game. We hit the Cromwell twice on the move. We hit the AMX on the move, and all three of those shots didn't pin, which is unfortunate. But But yeah, it was a very weird game. And this is what I mean when I say, like, I think I was talking about it just in the G source, G source session. Like, everything is a tongue twister tonight, man. I don't know what is going on. I'm just tired. Um, every single game that I play that's like tier five and tier six, people are always more aggressive. And um, the games tend to be more fun. They're just more interesting, you know? 
And so that this is why I kind of enjoy playing these lower tiers from time to time, because it's just always like a it's like hit or miss whether it's going to be um, you know a, a a normal game or not, right? And when I say normal, it's like when people actually do what you expect. But a lot of times, it's not the case. So it's very interesting. Um, with this vehicle, I think I'm actually going to go with a more aggressive setup. I was thinking about going to this bush and getting a cross. Um, anyone spotting that? No. Like, I would go here, but I just think this tank doesn't really have the concealment to do so. And so I'm going to go this way. T-37 as well, not really a great tank for that. So I'm just going to take my aggressive setup, and we're going to go over here to, like, the 4-5 line area. like everyone's coming this way as well which is interesting completely ignoring the south I did notice that like everyone's trying to crap on each other in the chat lol loss idiots ignore south like dude we can all see what's going on you know no one no one cares you know I can pen this guy anyway This would actually work if, like, people didn't sit around, but everyone's just going to kind of sit here and try and be fancy. And, like, this shit isn't going to work, man. You know? We can't all just sit in this side of the, on this side of the map. We have to try and push it, and no one's going to want to push it, so... I'm going to go back and see if I can help with this. I mean, we do have some tank destroyers over here, but... The thing about leaving the south open is that they all have to push up this ridge line, and so I don't think it's like the worst idea to put a lot of people in the north, but you still need some people over here. And we actually do have some people. We have the BP, we have the T20, um, what is that, Burza or whatever, yeah. We, we have people over here to kind of help defend this, and so they all have to poke up, and they have to poke up first, right? Like, they have to basically make the initial poke, because we're all just sitting here waiting for them, so... I really genuinely, like not being sarcastic, don't think it's the worst idea. That shot. Look at that shot. <laughs> what the heck, man? This is the most trollish gun I've ever played with, man. It's like you could be like on the move and, and just smack people, but then when you actually fully aim the shots, they miss. It's not like the shell velocity is that good either. Okay. I'm now going to push right down the middle of the map. <laughs> I think that's the best plan. And try and flank these uh, heavies at this point. Like I'm going to come all the way around though, kind of. Just because I don't want to make this cut over here. I don't want to get hit, but I am going to start flanking them. Just going to kind of dive in. I think it's the right play. Interesting. Okay, maybe it's not. Dude, people are just so weird when they play this game, man. Bro just like dove into the freaking water like an idiot. This is what I mean about tier 6, guys. It's just like, you just never know what to expect. You never know what to expect. I mean, I should expect that. The guy has a 2500 WTR and like a 45% win rate, so...
Okay. I'm going to load APCRs for the HTC. Just come up right through here. Yeah, there's an M44. That was a terrible aim by me. Good, beautiful. 15 to 1, 803 damage, 620 assists, guys. I mean, what the heck? You know, this is why I can't mark tier 6 vehicles, because the games are just so abnormal. Is that a good word for it? Like, they just don't make sense. People just do the dumbest crap at this at these lower tiers. Like, Okay, it was, I think, a little bit more spotting. We got the... What is this? Um, Pascucci's, right? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I should know what that is. Okay, good. I mean, our score is not that great, but we did win both of these games, right? Oh, no, we lost the first one. That's right. I feel like we could have done a lot better on the Westfield game if I had just like chose a better position, a different position, but I still think it would have been a loss. I just think we could have done more damage on like the Wolverine and stuff. I probably should have just went into the corner that where he was because you can get down there. And then if I was able to eliminate him when the T67 came across, then I would be able to get easier shots into him and easier shots into like other people and stuff. But just what I decided to do for whatever reason. Fjords is actually not that bad. I don't mind Fjords. There's one, two, four light tanks, one wheelie EVR Hotchkiss. And they have a 1375 MT25 Super Chaffee. Yeah, man. Like, uh... I don't like it when there's a lot of light tanks, man. I will keep my low noise exhaust on. I'll probably just sit like in this area. We can try and play this fancy like over here in this bush line, but I just don't like this play. I know a lot of people like it and it kind of does work, but you need people to go mid for that to work. We have like just really just like maybe two mediums going that way. I don't know, man. It's just not one of my plays. I'd rather just go here. Okay, like spot the EBR. Hit him. Probably get away with one more. And I'm going to pull back down. I don't want to get hit by a TD. Okay, there's the AMX. This guy should have just hid right behind the rock. I don't know why he's trying to press. Now that I know that the EBR is gone and the AMX is retreating, we can now make this play, I think. To get over here, because we have a lot of people pressing as well. We can kind of get away with this, but... You have to just, like, know what you can and, can get away, can't, can and can't get away with. Rudy is here. That's another thing I have to be mindful of. If these guys do push, I will push with them. But we have to watch this Rudy, because the Rudy will be able to get shots into us, so. Just kind of use this tree. Oh, I am spotted. That's interesting. I guess it's just too close. Try and wait like another second. If this guy hits me once, it's fine. Poke right here instead. Shouldn't be spotted from here. Just try and pick this guy's cap. This thing actually kind of does have some armor, man. Like in the review I gave you guys, I said it didn't really have armor. I guess it kind of does have a little bit. I think it's very reliable though. 
Yeah, like... The turret kind of has a little bit. See that? How it's a little trollish there in the turret? I am locked in tunnel vision right now. If 1375 came up behind me, I wouldn't have even known it. Okay, good. They're going in. I think we've provided plenty of DPM over there. And now let's try and go after this 1375. I'm out of uh, APs already. I've come close to running out of ammo in this vehicle, by the way. Just to share that. I like to get some back shots at these heavies, actually, too. There is an unlit tank destroyer. If I'm not spotted here from the back, I'm not. I can try and get shots at these guys. Can I hit this KV-1S? He's actually on the other side. No, he is here. Okay, he's running away. Let's just see if we can spot these uh, tank destroyers in the back. Whether well, there's a Cheeto and there's a Skoda unlit as well. Just get to like right here for now or something like that. So I'm safe. And then see if we can target the 1375. Let's see what this guy's going to do. Okay, good. Get some spotting. Just going to wait for like a couple seconds. Gonna act like I'm going this way, and then just like I like to just fool people, man. Like we know where these tank destroyers are. There's only one, one more place they can be, but I just don't want to poke out and have them hit me. Good. Scott is behind me. Again, never know what to expect at this tier. You just never know, man. Dude completely flipped his tank over, and yeah, the... I think he's like here or something like that, if I had to guess. Something like that. Like in here. I think that's where he is. Based on where he hit me from. It's just a guess. He might have started going up the hill now, though. It's possible. Unless he's in this corner. No. I think he probably went up the hill. That'd be my guess. I don't know where else this guy would have went. Because he hit me from behind, so... I don't know why he would run away. I mean, he looks like a decent player. Like, why wouldn't you just pad a little bit more damage? Just doesn't make sense. All right, whatever. That's the game. 2,042 damage, 332 assists. I don't think we played that bad this game. And yeah, the mark is actually going up. So and I, I, the first two games were not really great at all. So maybe this will be a little easier than I thought. But I just remember playing this thing and I, I felt like the expected values were pretty high, man. You know, even when I played a few years ago, like I just felt like the expected values were like, wow, like a lot of good players play this tank because it's OP as shit at tier six. Um, okay, good. Play one more and then I'll uh, end this session. I want to give you guys some good games at tier six, so let's do it. Yeah, I might, I might try and I don't know, put put on a couple pieces of bounty equipment and maybe try and mark this thing. I mean, I know it's only tier six, but again, it's like the best tank at this tier, and you need almost two thousand combined. And like, you'd think that'd be easy, but in some games, man, if you have really bad teams, like, I can see it being tricky. 
Like, for instance, with the Westfield game, right? Like, we had to play that perfect to get a good score out of that because our team melted on that side of the map within, like, a couple minutes. Okay. They have a VK-2801-105. I think what I actually want to do... the I need to figure out where this VK is first. If I can find out that the VK goes mid or something like that, then I'm probably going to be a little bit aggressive in the south because this is a 5-6 game and try and take, like, this little dip right here in k5-ish area and then from there we should be able to spot the south enough where if we have the support we can push the south it just depends on who's going to follow us and if they're good players like i don't know you know it's just very dependent on several things but i'm going to come up like this Good, the Jackson. I don't see the VK. It's wild that the Jackson actually has armor. Like, it's just, that just blows my mind, man, that you literally cannot pen the Jackson. I'm shooting at him with the APCRs, man. And I can't even pen him. Like, it's just got the weirdest armor. I think it's like lower calibers can't pen it as well. It's just like the way the armor is angled. It's very, very strange. See what the Covenanter is doing? I would have done the same play, but way safer. Way safer. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to pen this church either. Good, right there. Wow, I didn't really think he'd spot me from that far out. 28101105 is over here. It's possible that came from him, or this guy's just running optics or something. I don't know. Okay, Churchill behind him. Su-100Y is here. I think we just take this anyway, though. We have good support back here. I think we just kind of try and... Yeah, keep these guys lit. Good. There is Artie, though. I want to be careful with that. Would have been able to clean up the T-67. If nobody else did. Get this croc once. Now Artie should be able to clean this guy up. I'm trying to avoid Artie myself. They haven't been targeting me. It's really lucky, I have to add. Really lucky that Hardy has not been firing on me. Oh, gosh. Because they have a gorilla and a Hummel. They have the German Ardies. Okay, I'm going to take this guy out, I think. Good. Go back to standards. I thought I heard already fire, but I'm wrong. Okay. My only concern really was like the Su-100Y and this guy's in the mid. I don't know if that's the best play for him, but he's going for it. I'm thinking I can pull up right here and actually take shots at this Churchill without being lit. It's just like the angle of the trees over here, you know? Good. I think I actually go after the Su-100Y now. Yeah. I could take one from him, I think. Where is this guy? It's making me nervous. Did he try to run or like, what the heck? Where is this guy? Okay, there he is. Hopefully he's not facing me.
Okay, we need to get back to the base. I feel like this T-78 should be able to reset, though. Oops, sorry, guys. Just need a spot on this guy. Where is this guy? Hiding behind a dead tank or something? Yeah, it looks like it. There he is. Beautiful. You went down very quickly. Okay, now we just go after Artie. ARL's already making the trip over there. I saw him, man. He was just like going right after the Artie. It's not like he would be able to get back in time, so why not? on the ARL. Can we kill steal this? I don't think so. We can. Yeah. Sorry, man. But I got here in time. Four kills, 1275 damage, 1606 assist, and um, not a bad game and not a bad session overall. I think we had two good games. We had two kind of bad games. You guys are getting a bit of a mixture of both here um just the wild games and um you know the uh the more normal games as well right so you just never know what to expect these lower tiers the games are more consistent at the higher tiers it doesn't mean there's less stomps it just means people are more predictable at the higher tiers right but i think overall we played pretty well um yeah i, I really can't complain four battles we did 12 30 damage and 815 assist and we won three of the games and we had over a um a, we had a damage caused received of over three which is actually pretty good but more common in a vehicle like the type 64 right because this thing just it's just a dpm monster so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the session in the type 64 i'm not going to stick around and um go on a rant about something which sometimes i do I'll catch you guys for the next one i'm heading to bed bye bye see you for the next one